And now this right here, this shrub to about four or five feet tall, is Tabernanthi iboga, and it's one of the most powerful psychedelics in existence. The compound that's extracted from the roots is called ibogaine, and it's illegal in the United States. It's also illegal to cultivate this plant in the United States, but it's not illegal here in Costa Rica. There's a number of clinics that exist. It's had great success in treating post-traumatic stress disorder, and opiate addiction, but it's an intense psychedelic, and the uh, the compound can be somewhat cardiotoxic, that is toxic to the heart. So it's best done in a clinical environment, and it's good for patients to be checked for uh, any heart issues uh, before this compound is administered. The trip supposedly lasts six to eight hours, very intense, a hallucinatory, dreamlike state, lots of introspection, but it's had great success in treating addiction and PTSD, and it does seem to do a very good job at uh, getting people to alter the current trajectory that their life is in if it's in a very uh, dark spot. You can see the tiny uh, moth pollinated flowers right there. There's one that's open. You can see it's, uh, it's got a little bit of speckling on the inside of that uh, corolla. Look at that, those, those red striations. The fruit is right here. It just looks like a little chili pepper. You can see like a little warty orange chili pepper. Some plants get very long fruits. There's a phenotype that has very long fruits. This is the round fruit variety. And like most plants in the milkweed and oleander family, Apocynaceae, uh, it's got those opposite leaves. Opposite leaves alternating uh, pairs. Very glabrous, no hairs. It's from the DRC, so basically Equatorial Africa. It's from the Congo, and it tends to grow in the understory. Doesn't like a, doesn't like full sun. You can see it gets partial shade right here on this herb farm that I'm at, and uh, generally high rainfall too. So lots of humidity, uh, high rainfall, and part shade. But a very interesting plant, been being used for thousands of years. Uh, by tribes in Africa and now by uh, people who are, you know, are suffering and hope to change their lives and lifestyles. Tabernanthi iboga. The compound in the roots is ibogaine and the roots are what used. Anyway, that's very interesting. How about that? That's all I got. Have a good day. Go fuck yourself. Bye.